welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i got these super cute jumbo twists using braiding hair from easy braid keep on watching so this hair was sent to me from easy braid i want to give away with them and they sent me this humongous box full of hair I'll link that video up above, but I decided to go with this braiding hair. It is in the color T1B Red. Let me get the package. Yes, yeah, so it's T1B Red, and this is the braiding hair. Super cute, absolutely love it. I did get two packs, and I only used one pack and then a small amount of this second pack. This is what the hair looks like. This is what I have left out of the one piece that I use. The hair is super cute, super soft, super easy to twist with. I'm definitely probably gonna try some braids with the rest of the hair that I have left over. But today we are talking about these twists. So let me give you a better view of these twists because when I say they're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving these twists, loving the color and the length. This is 72 inches. So your girl was twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting, but because it's twist, it wasn't too bad. It took me maybe about two minutes for each twist. I do have 27 twists in. So let's get right into this tutorial. Keep on watching. pre-stretched braiding hair. It is 72 inches and it's in the color T1B30. Absolutely love the color. So far I've done most of my head except for three twists and I've only used one pack. This is the second pack. This was gifted to me from Easy Braid. If you didn't see my unboxing of the amazing giveaway package that I got, I will link that up above, so make sure you check it out. So yeah, this is the hair that I'm using. Absolutely loving this hair, I've had no issues. Comes with three bundles, and from each bundle, I was able to get eight twists. So, I'm gonna open up this second package and show you how I do it. The red at the end is definitely given. So I just take one bundle. This is one full bundle. Just slide the paper right off. And then just take this little twist tie off. Again, I was able to get eight twists out of this bundle. The bundles are super thick. So I'm working in pieces about this size. So I am using the crochet method. So 
I have did some braids and I braided about two inches down. Decided not to use the rubber band method just to prevent any breakage. Although you can add oil to the rubber bands, but whether you add oil or not, I do know that those rubber bands do add some breakage. So I'm trying to give the rubber bands a break. So I just plaited my hair down two inches, go in with the crochet hook. And I like to start at the end of the hair so there's not a lot to pull through. So then I attach it on the end, close the hook, and pull it through. Unhook it. And then I just go through and even both pieces out. Make sure they're even. I'll take my hair in the middle, unbraid it just a little bit. And then I'm going in with this braid and gel. I will link this braid and gel in the description box, so make sure you check it out. This braid and gel was sent to me by this company along with some edge control and also some um, lace thinning mousse. So I take some of that gel Put it on the length of my hair, just to help my hair blend. Split my hair in two. Put it with either piece of the braiding hair. And then I take the hair and I twist it. Twisting the hair in opposite directions and then twisting it around each other. Twisting it opposite directions, twisting it around each other like the rope twist method. And I just do that all the way down. I do add some more of the gel once I get to the end of my hair, just to make sure that it stays tucked in and in place. But that's pretty much it. Just twisting the hair opposite directions and twisting it around each other. Opposite directions, twisting it around each other. And I am twisting tight because once you get to the end and you rubber band it, it does loosen up. to the length that I want it. Just take it, detangle the end, and I'm just gonna add a rubber band at the end. So I'm taking my rubber band, and I wrap it around about six times. Once you let it go, it looks like this. And I'm gonna be adding some rods to the end of it for some curls. This is what we have so far. So I'm gonna do one more. <laughs>
comment section below. Would you rock this color? I was a little bit intimidated at first, but I was like, girl, you can do this. <laughs> you can definitely pull it off. And I definitely am loving these jumbo twists. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I will see you in my next video.